What's going on guys? Victor here and today I'm with Brooke. It is finally calm enough to go offshore. So as much as we love freshwater fishing and catching bass, we love to saltwater fish. That's what we grew up doing and that's what we love to do. There's so much more of a variety and we honestly prefer it. Not to say we don't like bass fishing, but today we're headed offshore. We caught a bunch of gogs last night, so stay tuned. We're gonna try to catch some big kings, maybe a sail. But before you move on with this video, I want you to comment below in gogs we trust. If you guys like gogs as much as we do, comment below in gogs we trust. We'll see you out there. Okay, the Guggen bra is on. What I mean by my Guggen bra is my chest mount. So, this is the first gog. The ones that we caught last night were pretty little. And I'm gonna hook them. When you slow troll, always hook them through the nose so they swim straight. And then I'm gonna put one hook right here in the back, just like that. And we have the boat just in idle. I'm gonna let them go back. And the first bait that I put out is gonna be the far bait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them out probably 100 to 150 feet behind the boat. And then the second bait will be the short bait. And you wanna have one long and one short, otherwise they're gonna get tangled. Because if you have them at the same distance, anytime you turn or any, do any type of movement of the boat, they have a chance of crossing. So I'm gonna let this one out. It's gonna set him in quicker. And he's gonna keep going out there. And we're gonna get the second one out now too. We only have like two hours to fish because I gotta be at work by six o'clock. But using, doing the whole slow trolling thing, you get to cover a lot of water. So it's a really productive way of fishing. Otherwise, when you're drifting, if you know where the fish are gonna be, you can drift right over them. But if you don't know where they are or where they're gonna be staged, you slow troll and you find them. And when I set these guys, so when I have them out the desired distance I want, I don't leave it in gear as if I'm going to fight them because I want to let my fish eat when they hit it. So what I'll do is I'll leave it just above free spool if you're fishing a lever drag. So it's tight enough to where the gog's not pulling out line on its own, but it's loose enough to where they're not going to feel much tension. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. Oh, it's smoking. Brooke, you want to fight it? No. Swimming in now. I don't think it's a sail, I think it's a king. So what will it be? What do you guys think it's going to be? A little baby king. Oh, that one's just got hit. That one's getting hit, that one's getting hit. It's a king. Yes. Woo! He did not like that. He saw the gaff and he said, hell no. There you go. There we go. In the head. Perfect. Hey, we didn't get skunked. Came out here with the intention of catching kings and we caught one already. And these things hit it so fast, they almost always get that second hook in them. See where that treb is? Actually, he's only hooked by the treb right there. He cut the wire, it kinked. That's number six wire too, and it kinked that easily. I don't know about you guys, but there's just something about seeing a dead kingfish that just gets me excited. I just love seeing bloody fish on a boat. Call me crazy, but I love it. See, he was just hooked, barely hooked by the treb right oh, wow. here. Okay. So, channel updates. Um, there are some collaborations planned for the future. Darcizzle Offshore, we've been talking to her a lot, I have, and I want to do a collab with her. It's just really hard for our schedules to mesh, but we want to do either a snakehead or offshore fishing trip together. Also, Bite the Bait Fishing, Julian, real cool guy, me and him are going to be doing something soon. We've been texting a lot together too, but also, once again, it's really hard to get our schedules together. because. Just like you guys, we have lives outside of YouTube, and yeah. Wait, you do? I do. You're on. 
You're on! Get him, babe! You got a nice fish. <gasps> no! no! The hook just pulled. Did it pull or did you get cut off? No, I think the hook just pulled. The dog tag, dog tag. This is a nice one. Yeah, that's a fatty. Through the nose. And then through the back. And in he goes. Let yours out far, I'm gonna check this one. Oh, 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 right here. He just got eaten. Do you see the boil? Here, here, here. I don't know if he cut it or what, but I'd reel tight a little bit. Oh, he's eating it again. Oh, it's a oh king! That was sick! The dog just jumped, jumped out, out of the water. Feed it to oh, him. He's oh, he's getting it. He's trying to get it. All right, so do me a favor then. If you guys like this channel, watch the videos, please go and follow me on Instagram. Um, it's Land Shark Fishing, the same handle. And also the Facebook page. I do post other stuff. I think I'm more active on Facebook than I am Instagram, and I post some cool stuff on there that you won't normally see. What are you, you think? doing? All right, sorry, interrupted by this idiot. This guy clearly sees that we're trolling, but he does not care, and he's just like coming straight at us. I don't know what these people think they're doing sometimes. And now that we pointed the camera on him, he, I think he got the idea, so he's moving away. Okay, but like I was saying, so if you guys have any land-based shark fishing picks you want shared, I will be starting to do a lot more involvement with the Land Shark Nation on the Facebook and Instagram page. So send your pics in. You guys can either hashtag Land Shark Fishing on Instagram. You can send them on into my Facebook or email me. My email links are in every single description box of every single video. So send those pics in. All right, we're headed back into the inlet and it wasn't a great day, but we had fun. We brought out six gogs. Each one of them got hit. We lost a big king on one of them. Brooke did, the hooks pulled. I caught one and then all the other baits that we put out, they all got hit, but they didn't commit to it. A lot of times when you're slow trolling, they come up and they just swipe it, but me and Babe had fun. And she's gonna use this footage actually to make a catch and cook video, which will be on her channel, which is in the description box below. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. Sorry that this video is a lot of talking, not much action, but finally a saltwater video. Tomorrow it's supposed to get really rough, so I don't know the next time we'll be offshore is. Don't forget to like the video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. Brooke, 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 Brooke.